What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, we already know, man, that Wag 100 did catch a gun case out there in Texas with his brother, man. But Wag 100 is saying that that case got dismissed, man. But a lot of people don't believe it. So he's speaking about the case and breaking it down and telling the New York goons to go and get the paperwork, man. He's pretty much saying he didn't get a federal hold back then simply because the pullover was on camera and audio and the search and seizure was actually illegal. But before that, Wack 100 gets into it with the East Coast Crip, man. The Crip says that Wack 100 accused him of snitching and says that Wack 100 is lying. Wack 100 says, no, you told him like six, seven of your homies. An argument ensues and Wack 100 challenges the Crip to a fade. It is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. So now you saying he didn't rap? No, I'm saying for the to, to get that 20, he got a post conviction. Yeah, no, the 55 year, we don't know. We waiting on it. Oh boy told me today. That nigga uh, 100 is a straight mark. That nigga oh, got on oh, no jumper. He said I was a rat and I told on five niggas. Come on, cuz. You can't even make that shit official. You a straight. You did. You told on five of your homies. They called me. He's cold. Oh, where, 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 where? You, you want to meet your 89th and Mary? This nigga oh no, my You want to meet your 89th and Mary? This nigga. Do no you want to meet me on 89th and Mary? The homies, nigga, I ain't never told on. Do you want to meet me on 89th and Mary? Nothing. That's East Coast hood. Do you want to meet me today in East Coast hood on 89th and Mary? Yo, somebody ask him. Do you want to meet me on 89th and Mary? I'm just so good. But my, ni my nigga, if you, if you from where you from, why do you feel the need to argue with a dime move about where you from? Do you want to meet me on 89th and Mary, nigga? We can meet there. That's my that's my secondary. We can meet Come Mary on Mary today. Come on 89th and Mary and get you slapped. Okay, nigga. that's cool. Are we going to meet over there? The okay, you. listen to me. Nigga. Are we going to meet over there? That's cool. Do you want to meet over there? Nobody else. 80, that's not your hood. That's more my hood than your hood, nigga. Do you want to meet off 89th? Okay. That's a no. That's a no. I'm not Yo, it's a yes or no. I'm not from May 9, though. That's East Coast, though. Bear from May 9 slapped the shit out you, that's though. That's City nah, Bear Dust Party. You got to slap him. You got to slap him. Listen, that's East Coast, Coast neighborhood. Why you don't want to meet an East Coast neighborhood? Why you don't want to meet an East Coast neighborhood? That's my hood, though. Okay, let's meet over there. Yeah, meet over there. I'm from Pine Wood, though. Meet you. Meet you. Because you know, nigga, they're going to let me max him out. He nigga, know that. Bro, nigga, you, you, Meet me in the pack. Yeah, yeah, nigga. you hear it. Yeah, Meet me okay. in the pack. Nigga. That's what I Come thought. The set, that's East Coast you neighborhood. You not coming to the hood, Listen, nigga. that's East Coast Crip neighborhood. I'm a power rule you in the coast. Yeah, that's you my secondary, You though. supposed to go crash out. He He's said, not going to do it. You he know, yeah, he know when I get over there, they're going to let me max him out. He know that. He knows that. That Crip hood right there from East Coast is going to treat Wack like I'm from there. He know that. He know that. We can meet on 89th and Mary in East Coast Hood and I'll beat the fuck out of you, nigga. Stop lying. Y'all bitches is out of order over here. Nah, but y'all gotta go back nah, to the paperwork thing. Cause that was, that why was you, the sidebar. Hey, why you speaking up my paperwork. name on no jumper though, you old ass nigga? And why I'ma you talk about it again today. about my name though? I'ma talk about it again today. I'm on my way right now. Hey, matter of fact, do you want to meet me at No Jump? I'll be there in 45 minutes. Man about Uno, Do you want the address? You bringing up my I'll be there in 45 minutes. Ass. You want to pull up? Hey, right, what happened to the paperwork talk? You use some information. I gave it all to her. Niggas right there. What else you want? Cash Miguel Roy Jones. April 15, 2005. Willer, Willer County, Texas, Sharon Rock, Texas. It's right, niggas. Right hey, Nina, Nina, you you looking it up so y'all can pull oh, it up in real time? They are. You already got the dismissal. Shit, the other shit should be already done. Hey, Wack, you can walk us through that dismissal, my nigga. All you gotta do is go to Google right now, 
You tell and everything put, else. Look, this all you gotta do, bro. Listen, for the 64 listen to me. This is all you gotta do, bro. At? Listen, this is all you gotta do. At? Go to Google. Matter of fact, yeah, I'll read it for y'all. You, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you can go to Google, put text, state of Texas dismissal, interest of justice definition. And it's gonna tell you. But here, I'll read it for you. No big deal. Is right? that the favor? Fez owed you? Stay case, my nigga. What that gotta do with the feds? Bro? Nah, look. Y'all niggas said a bunch of dumb ass shit. You I mean, was a felon catching gun charges. I've never bus. been in life, dummy. Ever. Get your mind right, bro. Y'all can't fight me with the lie. Yo, you yo, you need to take that off of Facebook and Instagram. That's what you need to do. Keep talking. It's going to go up on somebody else on Blueface shit. Keep talking. But whack, what? Out out yeah, so this is what it says right like, here. You go. Like, like dismissal, you like dismissal in the That's interest of justice allows a court to dismiss them. Procedural, proper, but unjust or unjustifiable cause of action. A dismissal refers to the court's decision to terminate a court case without imposing liability on the defendant. Illegal search and seizure. Go get to work. How you get to the trunk? Go get to work. My yeah, brother was getting the um, paperwork. Go get it. Posted got it. They got the dismissal. Why you can't go get to work? Post, when Post was written, they said they threw out that fucking illegal. They denied that illegal feature. Go get to work, then, nigga. So you got a dismissal. Listen, look, you got the dismissal. Yeah. The paperwork yeah. is gonna break down how it led to the dismissal. And in the interest of justice. Now, what's crazy is you it just heard Fox say, "Wait, wait, wait, Fox." So you agreeing, admitting that Post got to work, right? He read it on Clubhouse. Okay, then go go get to work. But we okay, hey, quick question. Now hold on, right? Udo. Who is in I'm the on my way to you? no jumper right who, now. Who is in the Are car you, with wait, you? Wait, wait. Are you gonna meet me down there? Hey, he gone. He gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, he These gone. Who was in the car with you, what? My brother, Bob Jones, Robert Jones. You want me to bring him on Clubhouse? My older yeah. brother. He never yeah. went to court. He caught a case about six months later. Went to the pen. He did his. He was in the pen. You gonna bring him on Clubhouse? When you gonna bring him on Clubhouse? Bring him on Clubhouse and then we'll. But if if you bring him on Clubhouse, are other people allowed to ask him? I don't want to give a fuck what you ask him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to be present in that room. I want to ask him some questions. What you ask him? He never he never seen the courtroom. He went to the pen in state of California. I had to call into the fucking bail bondsman people, notify them, and I fought the whole case. That was it. I wasn't never going to jail anyway. It wouldn't have made. Listen. Hey, listen. You said that. Look, here go the you thing, said that right? you had 800 rounds, right? You said 800 rounds. How many, how much, how much guns and ammo? Uh, I had about shit. It was probably about six, seven, six, seven back in that trunk. Or six mm. or seven of them. Yeah. You know, let's go spell it all out in paperwork. And and it was, and you was in Shamrock and, and transitioned Willer to go to Shamrock. Uh, Shamrock. Oklahoma, right? I was 40 Isn't miles like... from the Oklahoma border, nigga. Literally. Okay, so this correlates with your big brother well my, my big brother is by exactly nigga he got he was killed nigga uh april 14th right right yeah nigga you know what's happening you know where niggas was going nigga didn't know what he was going into you don't go to this situation to come back nigga didn't know what he was going into Rick, why you just can't go get to work to uh clear clear, clear all this up and why you just can't get to work and run it like know what i'm saying go get to work i'm gonna bring my brother on here see here go the thing right I was not, is that Stats 280 I'm talking to? No, that yeah, was the one yeah, that was me. Back the Okay, listen. See, Stats, here goes the twist, right? I'm the baby, right? I was never going to jail anyway, regardless of how it turned out. You understand what I'm saying? We Joneses, my nigga. Same mama, same daddy. Now, I'm telling you this, because when he come in here, he, he going to say, my brother wasn't going to jail regardless. Whatever it turned out, he wasn't going. So, it, yeah, I wasn't never in no jeopardy. I just spent three, four hundred and beat the shit because I know they couldn't get to the trunk. Ain't nobody on parole, probation, ain't no motherfucking drugs. You ain't got no reason to go in the trunk. Once you give me a speeding ticket and give me my credentials back and release me, unless I commit another it, infraction. It, on that paperwork, it said that. Unless I commit said, another infraction. He had reasonable, he had reasonable uh, what? It was uh, reasonable because your window wouldn't roll all the way down. It only cracked. That's cap. said it wouldn't go no that's more. That's cap. I'm that's in a motherfucking he, rental, dummy. What are you talking about? Exactly. That's cap. Car and they said the window wouldn't go all the way down. That's what, that's what Postal was Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Listen. Hey, listen to me. So in the paperwork, is going to tell you. He got the paperwork. We took Mr. Joe's information, went back to the car, ran him for speeding, nigga, and came back and gave me a ticket for speeding. 
Once you, once they take your shit, you in custody. When they give you your fucking credentials back, or whatever citation, you are now out of custody. Unless they get a call in to say he's wanted or he has a warrant or they see something, right? At that point in time, you have no probable cause to pull me out the vehicle. And even if you do pull me out the vehicle, my nigga, you have no probable cause to search. And even if you do decide to search it inside of the vehicle, everybody know when you go to fucking with that truck, you really need probable cause. The drug dog came out, ran around that motherfucker for 10 minutes, no hit. Go get to work. Nigga, y'all know about the case because I better. told y'all about it. Stop acting like y'all discovered it. Whack told y'all about his case. Go get it. It's, it's and I'll bring my federal. hey stats. Stats. I'll bring him on here and let you talk to him first. Is, no is problem. It state? You said it was a state case? State. All state. I ain't never had a fair case in life. You're mm -hmm. a felon, right? Mm hmm Are you a felon? Yes. All right. So I'm, well not well not right now, I'm not. Back then I was. Oh, all right. All I'm right. not a felon so, right now. So. Do, do the science. Do the science. So when you got when you got arrested, were you were selling at that at that time? With yeah, guns. definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, right, I, I, on I, parole though. No, no, no paper. All right, no paper. On parole, right? No, no, no paper. But, but, no but, paper but, means but, off parole, nigga. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. But you were still a felon, right? You, you, you you're convicted felon, right? Yep. So how did you get around the gun charge with the feds? The feds didn't like, pick it up. Know, wait, 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 let me lie, let me lie. Because I'm not a felon. Right. We, know, we know that as a felon, the feds, if there's guns in front and you're a felon, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. how, did that, how did we get around that? The feds did not pick the case up. got arrested. So when we got arrested, we had a no bail. We had a hold, federal hold. We was in the up for like five, six, seven days, something like that, right? On the federal hold. After seven days, the feds come up and say it's all type of shit. It's gonna be in the work, but the way you got him is not our way. They dropped the hold. The only thing saved me. If I'd have been in California, I'd have been forced to take a deal. The only thing saved me, my nigga, is they got audio and video on the front of the motherfucking squad car. Everything is on audio and video. They watching everything. They hear everything. They knew it was the illegal. That's why the fed conviction rate is high. They didn't touch it. It's all in the work. Stats, go get to work. Okay. Whatever it costs you to get to work, I'll refund you. Go get it. So the feds up because of the illegal search and seizure. That's why they didn't pick it up. I had a initially I had a fed hold. That's why okay. I couldn't fail. So why and the hell they can came and talk yourself, to you? Why you go at Boosie and Boosie got way more money than you and he had the same situation. You call him a rat. Cause he ratted. We got the paperwork. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wag 100 speaks about his gun case, man, and why it didn't go to the feds, considering the fact that he was a felon when he got caught with all them guns alongside his brother out there in Texas, man. And this is the case that a lot of people be harping on when they say that Wag 100 is snitching, man. They say he got caught with a bunch of guns out there in Texas and did not get no time. Wag 100 says it was the dismissal, puts up the paperwork, shows the paperwork of the dismissal, but a lot of people don't believe it man there's even people out there doing videos saying that the clerk of court is actually saying that whack 100 is telling man so i'll have to look into that man i'm gonna have to check that out a little bit just to see what's going on with that because that's the case that everyone is harping on that gun case out there in texas man and do you believe it man do you believe that a case of that magnitude can ended up getting dismissed right because of an illegal search and seizure y'all gotta remember man as citizens you do have rights right and they cannot search your property without probable cause right they can't get in your trunk they can't get in your you know your, your glove box without permission or without probable cause and just because you're speeding in a highway doesn't mean that they have a right or probable cause to search your vehicle nobody was on probation like Wack 100 said nobody was in possession of any weapons that was on their person like Wack 100 said there was no drugs in the car like Wack 100 said things that will warrant a search and seizure of the vehicle so if they go about and do it on their own that's actually illegal man and a lot of cases get thrown out that way man technicalities that's all it is a hell of a technicality the cop messed up being a little too antsy being a little too anxious being a little too racist whatever the reason it is that people go in people's trunks without permission or without probable cause right that stuff gets thrown out you have a right to privacy right they don't have access to all of your stuff and a lot of people don't know this stuff man you'll be surprised at how many people that are out there in the world 
breaking the law, but don't understand the law. You don't have to say anything. A cop pull you over, especially if you're doing dirt, even if you're not doing dirt, a cop pull you over, you ain't got to say nothing. You have a right to remain silent. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to be rude. A lot of people do the opposite. You have a right to remain silent, but you get pulled over by a cop. You want to talk junk. You run in your mouth. You giving them reason to bother you. Give them your information. Tell them go on about his business or you go on about your business and keep your mouth shut, right? Tell them you don't answer questions. Just depends on the situation that you're in and what you're dealing with, right? But a lot of people don't know that. And Wag 100 said in that illegal search and seizure or while the cop had them pulled over, they didn't do any talking. They didn't say anything. Him and his brother, he said they remained silent. They didn't say nothing to the cop because you're not supposed to talk, especially when you're dirty. You ain't supposed to say nothing. Let your lawyer do the talking for you right? But a lot of people simply just ain't buying it, man. And I think a lot of people just got a bone to pick with Wag 100, man, because he's exposing so many people. Wag 100 cares a lot about who's telling and who's not. He's going to put you out there, man. He don't care where you come from, man. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander, man. People are going to wonder about your situation, your cases, speculate if you rat it as well. And I've never seen Wag 100 run from an argument about his paperwork. He's always presenting it just like he did just now put it all up there spoke about it didn't run from it didn't hide any questions didn't seem elusive didn't seem evasive or none of that stuff so hey man if you ain't got nothing on them you ain't got nothing on them man i guess the haters gotta try a little bit harder man but y'all let me know man how do y'all feel about this man do you believe what whack 100 just said right now and he actually says that his dismissal is on his instagram page so if you're really curious just go over to whack 100's instagram page pull up the dismissal and read it yourself man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getting video i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace